Hi guys, this is Karthik. So guys, in this video, I'm going to give you some nice ideas on what to make as a project. So most of us are very confused about what projects should we make. And many of us really go for competitive programming, lead code and stuff. So our software development skills aren't that great, right? We don't know a lot of frameworks and stuff. And honestly, it's not even needed for freshers to know advanced frameworks or latest technology like Angular, etc. Right. So I'll be sharing some tips on what kind of projects you could go for. Right. So guys, what you can do is you could take a data structure and you can implement the library for a data structure. So for example, uh, when I started competitive programming, I was interested in segment trees. So what I did was I made a general purpose segmentary library and now I can use it in contests and I can even use it as in my resume, right? So other than that, I made a priority queue, even though priority queue is already in the C++ library, but still. So I made that, I made a try, try data structure that is, uh, I added a few more functionalities. I made a try data structure that is serializable. So basically you could have a try, I could serialize that try, transmit it over the network and uh, when I receive the try, I could deserialize it and make a try again. So basically I just made a data structure that is well known. I made a library for that so that other developers when they need something like that, they can use these libraries. Now are these kind of projects uh, considered as good projects? So here is my opinion. I think that these kinds of projects are really good for freshers because it shows three things. First, you're good at algorithms because when you're implementing a library that is going to be used by other people, then you have to make sure that the operations are as optimal as possible. So this means that you are good at algorithms. One thing is proved. Number two, you're good at data structures because obviously you are just implementing a data structure. For example, here I've implemented a DSU, right? So this means that if there is a person who's interviewing me or there is a recruiter looking at it, the person will know, okay, this guy knows this particular data structure. Definitely we can go ahead and ask him a few questions based upon this, but they will be confident in my ability of understanding that data structure, right? So that is the second thing. They are confident that I know data structure. Thirdly, I have implemented this in some language, right? For me, I've implemented in C++. You can go ahead and implement these things in Java. So this proves that at least one programming language I am good at. This proves it that, okay, at least in one programming language that person is good at, right? So other than that, this also shows that I'm good at generic programming because if you're writing a library data structure, that means it is going to be generic. You cannot just write a vector of integers. You have to write a vector for any kind of objects. For example, if I was to show you my, uh, let's go for segmentary right now. I'm going to, I, I was thinking of making a separate video on this particular uh, library that I've made because this can actually be used for coding contest, like code forces and code shift. You can actually use this library. And if you want, uh, write in the comments, I'll definitely explain how to use this particular structure and it works quite good. So like, if you understand this, you won't have to run at geeks for geeks and other places to find the code. The, this code is quite good for almost any kind of, uh, segmentary problem where you are asked to have point updates. So I can show you the code for this particular thing. Yeah. So you can see that my segmentary can be of any type. It could be a, the segmentary could be built over an integer array. I could build the segmentary over a long, long array. I could build it over a user defined type array, right? So this proves that not only do I know C++, I know generic programming as well. And this is something really useful, right? When you have to write code for people, when you're writing libraries, this particular thing is very much required. You will go through the standard template library and you'll know the importance of this stuff. Having a vector of int is not enough. You need a vector of doubles. You need a vector of user defined type. So these things really show that you are a good developer. And even if for now you don't know a lot of frameworks, if the company does hire you, they can definitely teach you whatever they want out of you. So these are some good projects and honestly, these are easy to make as well. So with minimum time, you'll be able to maximize the, what can I say? You, you'll be able to maximize the advertisement you're giving of yourself. Our resumes are basically advertisement of our skills. 
so through this you will be able to maximize the productivity in that section you will be able to show that okay i am good at it and this would not need very uh, a lot of time right so you could go ahead and pick any data structure i would say pick graphs and build some really really useful library for a graph that not just you other people would like to use right so that it would really prove that you are good so this this was a short video on some tips about projects and i really recommend people to make this kind of projects i myself made a lot of them so hopefully guys you like this video make sure that you like share and subscribe if you would like a video explaining some of my repositories from github and these are mostly implementations of data structures then i would be more than happy to make a video for them i especially love the stri data structure and the segment tree so you can ask me and i will definitely make a video on these thanks for watching guys